Hello, good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you in simple steps how you can perform direct uploads to your Cloudinary in your Rails application using a gem called Shrine. It's very simple. Uh, I'll walk you through the steps. I'm not going to say much because I have an article written a whole lot describing everything. So we're just going to go through the process of performing the whole thing. So let's set up a, a new Rails application. So I'm going to do Rails uh, new. Uh, shrine. I'm going to call it Shrine Cloudinary. Maybe. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to skip testing for now. Okay. Uh, while waiting for our Rails application to finish. So we are going to use three gems. Uh, the image processing gem, the Shrine gem, and the Shrine Cloudinary gem itself, which uh, you can check out the uh, documentation page uh shrine cloud binary there it is so you have uh the documentation showing you the gem how to install how to set up the configuration you need a cloud a cloud binary cloud name so you go, if you don't have a cloud binary account you can go set it up on your dashboard you can find uh the cloud name the key and the secret which we are going to add a, a dot env gem as well so we could have that on our uh, Rails application, okay, it's still installing. Okay, now that our installation is finished, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the folder. Uh, first, we need to set up those two gem. Mm, I'm going to under our development uh, development work well, and test. Let's add a, let's add our dot env file dot env gem so that we can store our keys gem dot env rails so right here we can add our image i'm just going to copy this and paste So our image processing, okay, we have what we need. We have our image processing gem, we have our shrine gem, we have our cloudinary, shrine cloudinary, and we have our .env rail so we could store our cloud name and everything. So I'm um, done. So let's save this. So bundle, install. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to copy I'm going to copy my cloud name and everything. So I hope you do same. So we are going to create a .env file on our root folder. So we are going to have our cloud name here, cloud underscore name. And then you store mine is Acrochure concepts. So cloud. API underscore key. I'm now going to put that so you can copy my key. Cloud API underscore secret. I'm now going to put that just here so you can copy my key. So after you've done, you save this. So let's open our code editor so we could have a better view. Okay, here is our code editor. So now that we are done with adding our .env file, which I believe by now you've copied your own key and added to it. So let's proceed to uh, setting up initializer for our shrine. So under configuration, initializer, I'm going to create a file called shrine.rb. So in there, we're just going to paste in the config file. Uh, I'm going to paste this. So here we have the uh, requiring the Cloudinary, the Shrine Cloudinary storage. So this is for our API key, getting it from the env file, cloud name, 
Cloud API key and they're under secret. Then the uh, storage uh, is going to uh, store it under our Cloudinary account. So we could decide to say uh, we want a uh, test app. So let's call it uh, test underscore app. So this will automatically create folder uh, under your media in your Cloudinary account. So you have things a bit organized. So the active storage, catch attachment, restore, validation helper for plugin, which we are going to use later on to validate the image size, image type, and the rest. So this plugin is what helps us do that. So uh, moving on, uh, let's generate our scaffold and see what we have. Terminal, come on, what's wrong? Terminal, new terminal. So I'm going to generate a scaffold, generate scaffold uh, article. I'm going to have a title, which is string by default, body text. Then I'm going to have an image data. Uh, I'm going to call it text as well. Okay. All right, so we will have our Rails DB setup. Rails DB setup does the same thing as Rails DB create, Rails DB migrate at once. Okay, what was that? Okay, let me be sure. Rails DB migrate. Make sure everything is all right. All right. Okay, now that I have successfully created the database, I've migrated. Uh, the migration files as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create the image uploader class under your app folder. We are going to create a folder called uploader, uploaders. Then under here, we're going to create image underscore uploader.rb. So we would have, uh, we would have our class here. And I'm going to call it class image uploader uh, it's going to inherit from shrine of course so we would have an attacher that validate uh, this is where the validate plugin i talked helper comes in validate do uh, we are going to validate uh, me the type uh, let's look at image jpeg image png image web files okay let's validate the size validate maximum size uh, one let's do one mb i don't want too much so two four and it's one zero two four okay so the next thing is, uh, I'm done with that. Okay, the next thing on our list is to associate the model with Shrine. So I'm going to go to my model article. So let me include, include image uploader, calling that our class we just created, attachment uh image okay so i'm going to validate the title it's not necessary presence uh true okay so you notice uh i when we're creating our database if you look at the migration file we are calling image data and right here i'm referencing image and when we are generating our scaffold, things like that change. So we are going to update our controllers as well to reflect this image that we have here. So controller article, I'm just going to go direct to the param. So this is it. I'm going to change it to image. Uh, the next thing is our view, which was generated by the scaffold as well. So our form data, I'm just going to uh, 
and notice this is it so it was a text file so I'm going to change it to a form field instead file field so we have file field uh, instead of image data we're going to reference image instead so uh, we're going to also look at the show page the show page uh, so we have the show page here so we would say uh, article so it's going to be an image tag instead image underscore tag so we're going to say at image article dot image underscore URL so if there is image sorry article dot image so if that exists, so we are going to go ahead and spit that out. Okay, uh, I think this is basically it. Uh, let's test out our app and see if everything goes well. So I'm going to do rel server. All right. Now in the moment of truth, locales slash articles. Okay, new article. So Ruby on point. My body text choose okay I'm going to use a screenshot if that's okay for you open uh, create article oh uh, I made an error okay let's quickly fix that image validate sorry sorry guys okay let's do that again article oh there we are okay our image is uploaded so let's check out our shrine account uh, remember we had this uh, let's go back where are you shrine that I'll be it should be on that test app so let's see if we have I'm going to refresh this there you are so I have my test app if I open it up so this is my image so uh, that is it guys if you are having issues with uh, you've used Heroku before uh, knowing that Heroku uh, is a file system is ephemeral and that means changes happen where the dynamo is running only last when the dynamo is shut down or is restarted so after a while you lose references to your images so it happens mostly on Heroku so using uh, cloudinary storage or AWS storage like this would save you a whole lot of stress because your image is stored in your own cloud storage. It doesn't affect whether cloudinary rest uh, uh, Heroku restarts or not. So thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Cheers.